coach. Welcome to Amakos family. For this is like our first local our first interview with you. Yeah. Yes, this is our first local interview with you, coach. Since you took over, the first one you had it in Tanzania, coach. Since you took over, how has been the training? How has been the preseason? And what do you think you would do different from being a technical head to a head coach? Uh, firstly, I need to thank uh, the Board of Governors and Chief Chiefs, uh, Dr. Mutau, in particular as the Executive Chairman, uh, to have given me um, this opportunity to be a head coach at the club. I've been with the club for the past two seasons, and I think it has been a very good and uh, interesting journey. And I've been part of the, the technical team in the first team, and also technical teams in our, our development. So um, I would say in terms of our preparation coming into this season, this was done last year, uh, going into uh, towards the end of the season. So everything has been going very well for us as a, as a team. So having worked with Coach Arthur and Coach Shepi before, um, whether with Coach Stewart or Coach Arthur in the national team, I think we have got a very good uh, technical understanding. We are all students of the game and everything is going very well as of now. And the coach, are you happy with, uh, with your pre-season? I think yourself and the 14 other teams in the league will be looking to close the gap on teams like uh, Sundowns and Pirates. Uh, you know, they went to Spain and Holland for their pre-season, but you guys stayed locally. Yeah, like I said, um, the plan to, 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 to start the pre-season was done last year. So it is not about um, uh, which club went wherever. It was our plan to say we'll do our pre-season in South Africa uh, for our own um, tactical and physical reasons. That is why the first week we went to Umalanga because we are fully aware that coming from the high felt, coming into the low felt, uh, players will be physically uh, well prepared uh, in terms of uh, their physical readiness. And also in terms of the tactical uh, preparation, I think uh, the plan uh, is going out very well. We are in our last week of our preparation and uh, I think we are happy, uh, except for a few tactical moments in terms of our tactical maturity when it comes to the game itself. But uh, it takes time and uh, we have got able players that are very talented and we feel and we believe that uh, by the first game uh, everybody will be ready to go. Coach, um, were you surprised or sort of taken aback by a largely negative response to your, to your announcement? What can you say to those people who sort of an uh, unfair situation? I think it has happened to me uh, ever since I started coaching 25 years ago. Uh, as an amateur coach, having won the league, uh, there will always be people who have got their opinion in terms of how you do things, uh, your approach, the type of players you use. So I think in the past 25 years I've gone through that, so I was not surprised. But the most important thing is that uh, I have got the job to do, and uh, that job has to be done to the best of my ability. And also, if my approach uh, has worked for me in the past of having a player-centered approach, uh, and I think that's what will definitely work for, for the new position I am, uh, the same thing happened with uh, Bafana Bafana. Uh, so that's what I'm saying, there's nothing new. Maybe uh, it's me being a South African, uh, because South Africans, uh, we have got um, little love for, for oneself. So hopefully, uh, over time, we'll outgrow the negativity in us, about us, and become a very positive nation. Coach, just take us through your mandate and the pressure that you're under to deliver on, on, on your mandate, considering the fact that Chiefs have gone without the trophy in eight years. Yeah, I think uh, any coach who gets hired, uh, there is always a mandate. And the mandate is very simple. You have to win games, you have to win trophies. And I think, uh, uh, like you said, we have not been winning anything in the past. But we have won some games. Uh, we played in the semi-finals, both for MTN 8 and uh, NetBank last season. So we are projecting the future by saying, let's go beyond what we achieved last year. And uh, competition is competition. We give respect to all the 16 coaches, to all the, the 15 coaches, to all the, the 15 clubs and I think uh, um, in us preparing ourselves for the season we, we are looking forward to do well uh, but in us doing well it means we have to dig deep and in us digging deep it means uh, uh, the players also has to Thanks, guys. has to raise up their hands.